Hello happy people Hamza here and welcome to this tutorial. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to add a pricing table just like this to your Elementor website for free and I'm going to take you through every step on how you can style it up and suit your needs. Let's get started. Now one thing you have to know is that if you have Elementor Pro you can create a pricing table like this one in Elementor itself and let me just show you here once I come over here to my plugins and activate Elementor Pro before I reload, just see that I don't have that table widget. I have only the one from Elements Kit that I'm going to show you, but the default one from Elementor doesn't appear. But now when I reload, after activating my Pro plugin for Elementor, now I come back here to the widget search and I search for table. Then you realize now that the Elementor table widget shows up. You can simply take the same procedures like dragging it over here and then you can start customizing your widget but in this case i'm making this tutorial for people who don't have elementor pro and i'm basically going to update here i'll come back to this section and deactivate elementor pro and now i'll come back here i reload this page now that means that the elementor pro widget for the table pricing won't now be appearing anymore so when i search for table the one for Elements Kit is the one that appears. Now, how do you get this one for Elements Kit? You simply come back to your dashboard and come to Plugins. And we are going to add a new plugin called Elements Kit. It's a free plugin and comes with a bundle of amazing free and pro widgets that you can use in your Elementor website. At the moment, it has over 20,000 active installations. I have it already installed and activated. The same you should do once you activate it it shows up right here now when i click over here to elements kit it will take me to this window and when i come over here to elements it will list all the available free elements that i can use in my elementor website including the pricing table now it also comes with a number of advanced pro widgets that you can use in your elementor website that you can also check out later on when this video is done now to get started you have to make sure that your pricing table widget is enabled so that you'll be in position to search it here in the editor. Now by enabled, I mean this button should be on and you simply hit save changes. And once you save changes, then we are good to get started. Now you can open up any page of yours that you want to add the pricing table with Elementor. So I opened up already my page here and when it's open up in the editor, this is how it looks like. This is the default table that comes with Elements Kit. So by coming over here, I added already a new section and I just simply drag this table widget over here. It shows up right here. But how did I come to have this default widget? I simply just came over here to my widgets editor, added a new section, came to this icon here for Elements Kit, clicked over there. Now, this is one of the massive feature that Elements Kit brings you because it brings you already made templates and sections you can use with your Elementor website for free, even with a free version of Elements Kit. And in this case, I simply just came over here to sections and I looked up for pricing section or table, not table, but pricing, which one, which is here. And I simply imported this widget by simply inserting it in my editor. And that's how I happen to have this widget. Just like this. But hey, you have a question like how do I set up these figures, the headings, and how do I set up this button right here? Now to do that, let me just come over here to my editor and I am going to simply duplicate this widget that I already added. Actually, I have to duplicate the column. I'm going to duplicate it three times. So I have that one first time. And then I duplicate the second time. Okay. The first change we can do is, for example, we can make changes to our text here in the header, for example, the table title. For example, if in our company, which is a web design company, we have tire one plan, and then we have tire two plan, and then we have tire three. So these are different packages. And then down here, we can describe our plan. So here you can say this is for starters with the least budget possible 
okay and then now we can even choose to have a header icon or image up right here we can say we don't have anything or we can simply add an icon to appear right up there let me say this one here and you see now we have this icon or you can simply choose an image to display right up there by coming over here and then you can select an image maybe this one here and boom we have an image that is appearing on our tire one plan and here we can now make changes to our currency icon you can change it to what you want whether euro shillings pound usd and here you can even add your pricing let me say here we are pricing maybe this at a 299 so this is a yearly payment and uh, when we go to the other features which are the ones right down here we can choose whether to use a paragraph or to use a list so i prefer like to use a list here and then we can say that um, a responsive website and here we can add um, seo search engine optimization and then right down here we can say autoresponder so that means that people will be able to opt in on their website you can add another item and say daily email support maybe here we say seo and security so and now down here we can add our button and we can say buy now or we can say that say pay now pay now is better and we can add a button icon let's suppose this is the icon that i want i simply insert that icon and i can decide to have it either before or after now this is going to be after the spacing for the icon you can say maybe 10 or 50 or whatever to what you want i'll leave it at 10 now when we come over here to the styling options we can style up our table title we can change our title color to a color that we want let me say this is the color that i want the typography i can change here our table typography by coming here to the font family and i can look up for it a font that i want maybe open sans and then i can add the font weight maybe like 800 and then i can even transform it to be either capitalized or whatever i want then i can add the padding top bottom and also the margin and then table subtitle which is down here you know we can choose to align it either in the center on the left or even on the right i want to leave it on the center and on normal i want it to be a green but i prefer to leave it black and on hover nothing completely so that even if people hover over here nothing happens we can also change the typography and here there is the option for the header image you know you can choose to have the margin at the bottom how far it should extend from the table title maybe i'll leave it at 14 and then on hover what happens to the image you can add that effect right here but i don't want to add anything right that side and the price tag which is this one here you can do a couple of things for example here on the desktop you can make changes on the responsive versions of this very specific pricing tag on desktop and on the padding we can choose to have a padding at the top and the bottom but if you don't want anything right there we can simply remove the padding and the margin at the bottom we can also remove the margin if we don't want it okay but in this case i think it is necessary for our period options we can uh, align this period of ours which is here we want it to be at the top we don't want it in the middle or at the bottom and then our currency option we want it to stay where it is but still like i said you can align it to any section that you want 
whether after but I want it to be before and then you also want it to be at the top and we can even choose to have a color for that currency symbol which is different from what the other color is but I'll leave it at default if we come back to the price tag and we remove this right here so I'll simply make this to be 340 so that I have it just like this I can even now change the color for our price right here but I want it to be white and there we can also change the background type see this background right here I prefer to use a gradient and I can change it to any other way that I want maybe here I change the angle and you can even change the location of that gradient now when we go down to the features we can do the same right here we can change the typography of our features we can choose to align them to where we want left center right and a lot more other options including the margins at the bottom but in this case i won't add the margin at the bottom i want to just make it zero or i can just make it to be 10. i unlink this and i'm going to give this zero zero 20 is better and when we come to our button we can style up our button we can give it a background color i prefer to have a gradient and that gradient will look something like that i'll give it uh, an angle of 22 and i'll change the color for the button something like that you can do a lot more other changes here like the, the border radius the background shadow if you want any and also you can change the typography or even increase the size of the text in your button okay something like that and then the pricing body you know the pricing body is this body here we can choose now here we can do a general setting like for example we can align everything in here to the left to the right or to the center and we can add a background for our pricing body for example i can say we want our pricing body to have a red color or something like that but in this case i want to clear this i don't want to have it that way i can simply come over here to the column the column setting come to the style and then come to the background and here i can say no more i want it to be white to be white and on hover i'm going to change it to be a solid color i'm going to change it to a color like the one up here which is kind of like a red something like that now on hover i'm going to change everything to be in white so I'll come over here to the pricing widget and start with the table title. On hover, I'm going to change this table title to be white. Now when I hover, boom, switches to white. Now when we come down here to the subtitle, the same we are going to do on hover. It will change from black to white to... And I mean you can perfectly customize each of this section here on all the devices mobile desktop tablet and all that stuff now we have set our subtitle to be white on hover now we can come to the features we also do the same to be white on hover so on hover we want it to be in white color now that's how it is now we can also add some padding actually let me add padding to the column itself so by simply selecting the column i can come over right here to the advanced options i can add padding to the whole of it for example i can make 2020 see how this looks like looks a little bit way better maybe i will unlink this and i make 30 top and then i make 30 bottom and boom this is how it looks like now for people who want to check out when when someone clicks over here we have to select our widget and then come to the content here of our widget 
and then we come to the button and here you'll add a page to your checkout page or your cart page or whatever platform or payment gateway that you are linking to where people will be making that payment. If you have the page created already, you can simply search that page right down here, for example, contact page. And then you can link up that page right to this specific button. Now, there can be different pages that you are linking to. Now, in case you want to use the same styling for all the other tables or the other tire plans, you simply come over here to the column. For example, I copy this and then I'll come to this column and I paste the style. Okay, and I can now also copy for the widget itself. And then I come over here and I paste the style for this other widget to this same widget. So I select it and then I paste the style. Boom. See how this looks like? Now what is pending is now only the image that we got from here. Okay, or that we added. And the same we can do for all the others. Or you, here what you can do is that you can also duplicate. For example, if I delete this column and I simply come over here and I duplicate this column. See how this looks like. And I can also still duplicate this column. Then I can delete this other one here. And now I can come over here and I edit this to tire 2, uh, price tag, I can change this to 399. And also you have to change the link of your button, the same we do for this other widget. We are changing this to tire 3 and come over here, price tag, we change this to 499. Don't forget to change the features and the description of each and every widget. So now when you are done, you simply hit update. Once it's updated, now we can come over here to our page and we preview our updated changes. So now when you scroll down here, boom, we have our pricing table on hover. It changes just the same idea behind this other widget that is up here. So in a nutshell, that's how you can add a pricing table for free in your Elementor website. In case you have any questions, comments, please let me know down in the comment box below. And if you like this video, please give it a like. And if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.